that some of them are coming in. I stopped spotlighted myself by accident. Hold on a second. Uh, spotlight for everyone. Uh, we're going to bring in some questions that are being asked on uh, either here through Zoom or on other platforms. The attendees, those of you who would like to ask questions, you can direct them at any one of the um, uh, panel members or you can ask to, to all. Uh, also, if you are uh, if you would like to type in your question on the chat, please feel free to do that. I'll begin with a question to Dr. Herney. Um, so, Zephyr, for your talk, and part of the things that you mentioned was about being having this concern for this community and, and our societies. And I think perhaps to our audiences who are slightly maybe older and people who have been active in the work for a while, that's something that comes to them naturally. They, they see the, the need to be active in their communities. They see the concern for people in, uh, you know, in their societies. When it comes to younger audiences and, and the people in our communities, you know, young adults, maybe teenagers, juniors, how do we plant that concern for the communities, whether that's Muslim communities or wider communities? And how do we make people feel in a world where individualism is, you know, is encouraged? How do we make people understand and feel that they have a duty towards others to encourage them to be active and to help others? I think I may need to unmute you before you speak. Uh, let me see how I can do this. Alhamdulillah, uh, I think it is the responsibility of the elder and so-called leaders to take the younger generation by hand while they are in the leadership position. No leader, and this take it from me as a statement with my warning finger again, which might bring another red card to the leaders. The leaders is an absolute failure if during his or her time does not create leadership to stay behind them. The process of creating young leadership has to be created while you are in office, while you are in position, not while you are giving talks or bayan or khutbah or others. Don't keep looking to the leaders too much on the mirror. Look too much to the society surrounding you. Empowerment is the name of the game. We cannot empower people unless we throw them to the deep end and let them to come back to us and show them the way. So this is what you need to tell such called, people calling themselves uh, peers or imams or sheikhs or alim or, or, or. Those or with S at the end of it, which is my English language, but the S before, after or are not leaders. That's why you are not moving to the understanding of intima mentioned by brother uh, Omar, which is the developing and the growth of the society. Society cannot grow unless we keep a space while we are leading the society to people to come and share us on our platform, on our platform, to be seen with us, to take the photograph with us, to be shadowing us, then to let them to lead us while we are in the leadership position. Volunteering is the name of the game. You have to create a very strong volunteering system in the country and empower the young people to do this kind of volunteerism in different aspects of social life. Going to the hospitals. I wrote a document in 96 or 97 called Grassroots. You can, you can borrow it from me. It's about um, 20 or 15 uh, uh, or 30 pages, something like this. Talking about what? Talking about window cleaning, collection of the rubbish after Christmas and New Year's, planting a tree, visiting the elderly, going to the hospital to, el to, to visit the elderly people who nobody visit them, because I feel sorry for our parents from the non-Muslim community when they sit in on their bed looking at us visiting our relatives and friends and nobody visiting them. This is, this is the training 
You don't need an elder to tell you go to the hospital with a flower, with, uh, with a smile, with a chocolate, with, with, with all these sort of things. So really, this is extremely important. But I was excited by Govan and by, by uh, Omar. I will tell you Muhammad. Omar said, simple idea, great civilization, start a simple idea. And for Govan, I am going to tease her with a lot of my hashtags, because I'm a hashtag individual. Responsibility is an ability or an ability. Care is share. Uh, belief is relief. Hashtag me, I tag hash you. You know tag hash and hashtag? If you follow my tag hash, I follow your hashtag. I think the media hey. office in MAB need to frame some of these. Uh, some of these. Well, you have the recording, but you have to pay me the royalty. That's it. We will do that. What else? Can you make it happen? <laughs> FTG. FTG means fill the gap philosophy. Whenever you go to a society, look at the gaps. But when you fill the gaps, fill it with a product. Even when you decide to collect the rubbish, it becomes an industry. It become a recycling industry. FTG for the tag hash and hashtag. There is no ceiling for education, for learning, for achievement, for meeting challenges, for overcoming challenges. This is what I talk from your talks. The, 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 the difference between me and you at least 40 years, 45 years, or 50 years in the case of uh, Govan and uh, and Bushra because they have to be in the twenties, but you have to be in the forty, brother, <laughs> brother Omar. But the girl has to be in the twenties all the time. So this kind of thing is right really important. <laughs> Thank you, sister. It's always the right answer. The no matter who, yes, no matter who you're talking to, they have to. You know, still in the twenties. <laughs> but Omar is in the fifty now. Really, uh, really important lessons there. Tag hash me, I hashtag you. That's it. I think the boys have picked it up in the chat as well. So, uh, mashallah.